Jennifer Lopez would be fucking sweet. She's sexy. I don't know, she's like 50. Oh, makes even hotter. <laughs> Sin City at Planet Hollywood. Ooh, I think I found one. Crazy girls. Fuck yeah, dude. <laughs> nice. I'm down, you down? Fucker mom. I was sitting at this fight, and I remember watching him knock out Luke. I'm like, hell yeah, I want that kid next. Tim texted me right after the fight. He was in the back, said, let's get that kid. Oh, his back knee is looking a little weak. Super tight, definitely the taller, longer guy here at 135. The bigger they are, the slower they are. Yeah, sir. He doesn't have any crazy special striking. He doesn't have any crazy special wrestling. His one good attribute is he's tough. Close your eyes, Andre. Close your eyes and throw something. <laughs> Dude. Dude, that's his only hope is counterpunch. If he tries to get offensive on you, that's going to be a bad move on his part. Fuck yeah. Ooh. Close your eyes, throw a right hand. Look at how surprised he is. He's like, holy fuck, I won! <laughs> Saturday night, though. The we will find out. <laughs> we will. We're two days from finding out. Yeah. I'm super pumped, you know. I was waiting for this hunger and this excitement and for all of the things to line up the way that they have and the way that I've worked for them too. And uh, I'm really excited to be here. I'm happy to, to get back and um, do what I came here to do. You know, I've had some really high level opponents and the best of the best as far as the UFC roster. And, um, you know, really I just feel confident and I feel like I, uh, I just I already know what to do. My instincts have never let me down and I'm pumped. Things are right for me right now. Pick it up. Kat and I have known each other for about 10 years and we've worked together for a long time and so, you know, being able to come out and, you know, help her stay on schedule, help her to get her workouts in and, you know, just be here to, you know, yeah, like help her relax and make things easy, that's my job. You like where I'm at? Yeah. Could be worse. Could be better. I'm trying to use this week to let her relax and, you know, with the weight cut, I don't want to put too much energy on her and, uh, you know, just let her flush the muscles out, get a little sweat going, and calm it in. Pretty much just uh, simulating uh, Frankie Edgar right now, that friend is doing, and he's just playing with him a little bit, you know, using his footwork. And, but uh, he's not showing nothing right now. <laughs> we don't want to give out too much to him. Keep that pressure on. <laughs> when he plays around a lot, you know, he likes to play around. Sometimes uh, he tries to emulate me with and I'm like, no. But you know, he likes to have fun. Brian Ortega. <laughs> Go! Hey, one guy's a beast. Look, do you see him breathing? I don't. Nine rounds, five minutes each. Put him up because he's coming. Brian will light you up, buddy. So uh, we came here to the uh, Performance Institute from the UFC for the UFC, and man, the first thing I was like, wow, you know, this is like a, every athlete's playground. You know, it was really really nice. You can tell they take care of the athletes. Fight night is two days away, so basically, right now I'm just trying to get the things refreshed in my mind. So just having like Coach Eddie um, refresh my stand up, my combinations and stuff, and Coach Leo help refresh my cage work and my ground work, and trying to just get the calories, you know, like I'm still feeling really good at the energy. Um, so everything I'm doing, I'm trying to just burn as much calories as possible, and I feel good. She's been looking good all camp, you know. She's been around the limelight for quite some time, you know, in the jiu-jitsu industry. So I think she's going to do just fine. She shines under the bright lights. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow.
Since we come for a treatment tomorrow, uh, that's where that'll be. Yeah. Oh, we're just. Yeah. That's weird. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>